Tenable ally, Dr. Dwayne Johnson Tackles was a TV presented over questions on Agberus in Lagos. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. A few hours ago, a mild drama played out at Wazobia Television Studio when Dr. Doe Johnson, an ally of the All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tenembo, slammed the station's presenters over a question posed to him during the interview. Dr. Johnson, who is the convener of the National Coalition of Tenembo Support Groups, NCTSG, was a guest on Wazobia TV's Good Morning on Friday to discuss the All Progressive Congress Campaign Manifesto, among other issues. However, a few minutes into the interview, the presenters asked Dr. Johnson to share his thoughts on how his candidate intends to deal with the ongoing complaint that touts popularly known as Agberus pose a threat to the security of Lagos due to their constant habit of extorting and attacking commercial bus drivers and other road users in the state. Quite interestingly, Dr. Johnson thought the question was meant to tarnish the image of his candidate and proceeded to tackle the presenters for putting forward such a question. According to him, Tenembo is not a founder of those various transport unions under whose authority the tout were operating in the state. He also pointed out that the Lagos State Government does not have a jurisdiction to stop the tout from collecting tolls on behalf of the respective unions because the organization are duly registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, TAC. The way people present this matters sometimes annoys people like me. We're talking about insurgency and you're talking about agros in Lagos. Let me ask you, is it Bola Tenable that registered the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW? Is Bola Tenumbu their president? Is he on the board of trustees? Is it Tenumbu or Sanwolu the registered road transport employers? Is it Tenumbu or Sanwolu the registered road transport employers association of Nigeria, RTEEN, those that dress in yellow outfits? These organizations that manage the road transport system in Lagos State government. And the government cannot scrub them except the Corporate Affairs Commission that registers them. If the CAC registers them, then they will cease to exist. While the federal government registered them, their purpose is to manage the transport workers in Lagos and they're generating revenue free for themselves. That is their own problem. We cannot say to number brought Aboros to Lagos. This is democracy, he said. So, <laughs> God forbid, but you know, all of a sudden, Lagosians, everybody hearing this one, huh? They say they cannot even stop them. Now, it's even they scatter my head. They make me, they, my head, they go popcorn. Really. They cannot stop them. That they are generating the revenue for themselves. Eh? True people. Extorting people. Abi? Okay. Uh, they go shan so I go leave this one for now. Then I know this matter won't be. <laughs> Defending evil for personal gain. At the detriment of the general masses and act of terrorism. Like, I don't understand. Do you know what it means? Lagos State tax these people. These people tax these people. How the masses won't use breath. We are talking about the one where we say Lagos State they collect from people. What they know they see. People do not get to see the use of the use the usefulness of their tax. Okay, fine, Lagos chance, okay, fine. Then they build some things for them. But even though, even though. And you are now legal. Do you know what this man just did? He smartly legalized, as in, he smartly saying, eh, it is legal. Hello to Nije, Lagos Shansu. Over to you people. I beg, park well. Agbor no day for a village. It is not like, it cannot be like this. Let me even wow you. Kawasokwe, it is only on the road. Do you know that if you want to do anything in Lagos, as you bought a land. Maybe you want to build a school, a hospital. You want to build anything. Eh? To put foundation, you will pay. As a more All those things, they are there. And you are sending me, and if the government does not have the MR borrow. Can you imagine? <laughs> eh? Okay. Leave them alone. There is no way they will put their machinery motion that will stop Tenobo not to win the presidential election. Are you really serious? <laughs> As a matter of fact, Oshodi, Moshi, Bariga, and others have been notorious before Tonobu, though Fashada was able to check their SSS. 
but Ambody and Samolu are not as proactive like Fashola in terms of security. Today, passengers are even robbed in traffic along Alausa. Imagine under Fashola, police are at the station at every bus stop with the ammo tanks. Hmm. I have known about Agberu before the civil war in Nigeria. The issue of Agberu is not a new issue in Nigeria. Only now Nigeria wants to use it as political tools. I got my professional driver license in 1962. Before then, I knew there was Agboru issue in every motor park in Nigeria. Why I travel to in Nigeria? Agboru is not a new issue. You try Lagos own. Try it. Ah, this one is not here. See, it is true, but their own don't they too plenty. Ha ha. You will pay for rent. You will pay for everything. You pay tax. You tax your money. You will still come and give money to people on the road. Owo oh, me da. Kilo de no. And the one where they give my popcorn, they say, they say, they cannot stop it. The government cannot stop it. They are registered under CAC. Why do Yoruba people like Agboru's work so much? Agboru's are everywhere, but there are too many Yoruba land. And they have too much power. And in Lagos, Tenba elevated them against the law. Young people from other states and tribes learn from their Lem Jagberu. Hooliganism from Lagos, Ibadan, Akoro, and Logo State. It has made many of their many of them very violent, lazy, criminals, and drug addicts. Whenever the all progressive Congress spokesperson asks incriminating questions, they resort to sarcasm and being vulgar to word of further questions. Anyway, only imbecilic, blindfolded, brainwashed idiots. Oh my goodness! Are still listening to these criminals and terrorists? That is too harsh. I've said it before that you can always air your views without sounding uncivilized. You talk as if no Agbaru in other states in Nigeria. That's not what he said. He said there are Agbaru's everywhere. Have you experienced the Agbaru in the north and the southeast? Yoruba like Agbaru, yet their states are progressive. What are you trying to see? Southwest has most industries. Have you experienced Agbaru in the north and in the southeast? Yoruba like Agbaru, yet their states are progressive. That's not the point. Southwest has the most industries. University banks and produces the highest IGR to the federal government, and yet you talk as if everyone in the south is an agro. That's not the point. The point is a reason now that is not the point. The point is that these people in Lagos State, the agro in Lagos State, agro fight. Can't you hear the statement from this man? Listen to his statement very well. I mean, read the article again. He's saying eh, there is nothing they can do about it. Why will you say there is nothing they can do about it? Why? Go to Lagos. Don't do your survey. If you are in Lagos, go to places. You will understand. Lagos don't know what I'm talking about. They are being extorted on a daily basis. And it is even more heartbreaking and heart wrenching that they are telling them that there is nothing they can live with it. That's what they are saying. Okay, all right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We'll